Hey, good morning. Positive news and positive news in medicine for sufferers of diabetes and insulin dependent diabetes. Um, these folks, um, the insulin in their body either is not produced or the insulin produced is not effective. So they have to take in pharmaceutical insulin. And for some, this is a little rare, but it happens. There are um, people that need to take up to 10 doses of injected insulin every day. And that involves the manual measurement of blood sugar and following guidelines on um, what readings determine when to give insulin. And uh, you can imagine how difficult that is. Uh, there have been uh, technical advancements, insulin pumps that automatically um, even can detect glucose sugar levels in the body and uh, deliver insulin as needed. Then I don't think those things are perfect yet. But what's happened? What's happened is in Europe, they have, it looks like they've developed a type of insulin that automatically does all that. The, the insulin that's injected into the body, and it could be as infrequently as once a week, is able to detect the blood sugar levels in the body and become active or dormant as needed. This is as close, we, we've never been this close to a cure for diabetes. So this is the very definition of good news for your fellow man and maybe for a relative like my sister has diabetes and I hope this happens so she can take advantage of it. Good news.